Mama, I was just making one of those apple raisins. Baby? Baby. Oh. I thought we'd lost you forever. Come back, Mama. I've come back. Jean, look at you. Twenty years. Oh my God. You're still my beautiful little girl. You're still my beautiful little girl. Helen. Helen, are you in there? Who's the car down below? Dry your face. I'm coming inside. Just, just a minute. Helen? Can't you hear me? Carpet Ann's come home, Father. Isn't that wonderful? Hello, Daddy. I thought we was done with you. Sorry, for heaven's sake. Why have you come back now? Don't pay him no mind, John. Don't never pay him no mind. Now, you, uh... You get washed up for supper. Well, come on. Go on in and show yourself. Every farmer in the Grange is wondering how he's going to meet his nuts. I tell you. I was talking to Sean Astridge over by Louisville, and they were saying that... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Kitty, kitty, back from the city. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. We'll find these city girls uh, look like you. I'm so happy to see you. Excuse me, but that's my husband. Yeah, yeah. Becky, come on, this is my sister. <sighs> nice to see you too, Becky. Welcome home, Captain Ann. Are you a policeman? Now I bet you're Justin, who wants to be a cowboy. I want to be a bush pilot. Justin, why don't you give your Aunt Kitty a kiss? Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Lincoln, he doesn't have to. Just a little one? There you go. You really a policeman? Cross your heart? Cross my heart. Dad, you want to head into dinner now? Mother, we're coming to table. and those who gather in thy name to accept thy bounty. Teach us to be thy children, to follow thee, to turn from sin. And teach us to love one another as you love us. And give us peace. Amen. Amen. I am hungry. Hey, Ken. So, Kitty... You got yourself a nice fellow out there in Chicago? Not right now. Yes, there's a lot of competition.
No, you can start sharing the chores tomorrow morning. Thank you, Mama. The whole state council's going up to Washington on Tuesday. Going to see Senator Gregg, and we're going to give it to him with the bark on. Either he stands by the farmers, or we don't stand by him. Going to Washington? Yeah. Lincoln's president of our grange. It's not going to have supports for we to wipe out every small holder in the state. That's why me and Tucker are going up there representing Ashcroft County. Tucker Davies? Yeah, yeah. He farms old Harrigan Place out on Sugar Hill Road. You leave Tucker B. He's married. Anyway, I think this time it's going to be a lot of trouble getting those supports to stay, you know, because uh, too much big city pressure. Too much good money wasted on welfare. You got that right. A lot of welfare money goes to feed hungry kids. Mind your knitting, dearie. The hell I will. Don't you swear in this house? All right, who wants vanilla and who'll take chocolate? I suppose you'll take some of both. That's right, Mel. Planning on staying long, are you, Kate? Don't have any plans. You're on vacation? Sort of. How long you got off for? A month. A month? You got a month every year, honey? It's not really a vacation, Mama. It's a kind of leave. Oh, you just up and take leave whenever you want? Ooh, I'd like, I'd like a month's leave from my house chores starting tomorrow, please. Now, you, had a, <laughs> you had a leave two years ago. You remember? Listen to him. You did. You grab any excuse to go off and bum around. You and Tucker stay out of trouble in Washington, you hear? Don't you worry about that. Who was involved in a shooting? You're not in trouble, are you, Kitty? There was a board of inquiry. They cleared me. I just needed some time off. What happened? Hush, me. Let it be. No, oh, Mama, it's okay. This family. You want to talk about it? The man had broken into a liquor store. The woman who owned it came downstairs to investigate. He raped her. Oh, my God. Hush, Becky. Go on, Kitty. While he was rifling the cash box, she hit the silent alarm. When my partner and I pulled up, the man was going out the door. My partner chased him around the corner. He doubled back, came running up the alley, firing at me. I fired back. Lord, have mercy. I killed him. And the thing about it, the reason I needed to take some time off, it gave me a lot of pleasure to watch that man die. So then naturally I realized I needed to come back here and see to my unfinished business. That's the way they say hello in Chicago. Josh? Josh Longcraft? Yeah, at your service. Were you just by my window? I got out of my car and boom! <laughs> hey, do you, uh, do you think we could have this conversation someplace else? Fine way to behave rolling around in the dirt. Sorry, Mama. Sit down and visit like a lady. Yes, Mama. That'd be a lot safer all around. You're supposed to be a doctor, not a ragamuffin. Yes, I'm.
Josh, it's good to see you. You too. You turned into some woman. How'd you know I was home? Oh, I don't know. I had a hunch. You always were Mama's favorite. Yeah, I was big with mothers. <laughs> and you're a doctor now? Full-time MD, part-time vet marriage counselor, director of the family planning clinic, child psychologist, medical examiner, small-town life. You remember all that. You're the district medical examiner? I got your letter. Why didn't you answer? Didn't see the point. A Jane Doe murdered 15 years ago. That was an official Chicago PD request. Well, you got an official devil in Arkansas, no answer. Josh, don't brush me Josh, out. Are you going to want to eat some breakfast? Kate and I were just going for a drive, weren't we? I'll get dressed. Chicago. You live out here? Beats living in town. Kind of lonely, isn't it? Man needs a place where he can get away and think. Come on, I'll show you. Welcome to Broken Ridge. Josh, it's beautiful. You want some coffee? Okay. How did you find this hill? Well, back when I was in Scouts. Tucker and Link and I went camping one night. We got lost. Ended up sleeping out under the stars. And at that moment, I decided to have a cabin up here one day. You guys were fearless. Well, the only thing I was afraid of was you. Me? Yeah, you were so darn smart and pretty. All you guys cared about was baseball. Well, what more could a boy ask for in life than catching Lincoln Waitley, Devlin's southpaw sensation? Besides, all you cared about was... Riding that horse of yours. What was her name? That big old mare that threw you? Tallulah. Yeah. And then a week later, you were jumping fences like nothing had happened. Why didn't you answer my letter? Come on. I'll show you around the place. Josh? There's a great view of the Caddo Mountains from the bedroom. Coming up? I'm coming. Well, what do you think? Cozy. Can I ask you a question without raising your feminine hackles? Why did I become a cop? second question they ask. Oh? What's the first? 
Do you have a roommate? Do you? No. I was going on 18 when I moved to Chicago. I could ride and shoot. And run like hell when I was scared. I applied, they took me. The rest is history. Married? Engaged once. He's history, too. So, do you like being a cop? Why not? Well, it's not really a regular sort of job, is it? But it, it suits you? All right. I like the badge. I like feeling in control. You carry a gun? When I work. How about when you go shopping or when you go on a date? Sometimes. How does that make you feel? Safe. Are you analyzing me? I'm just wondering. Wondering what? Why your gun made you feel safe up until the day that you had to use it? Who told you? Your mother. When she called and asked me... Ask you to come over and give me some therapy? Is that what this is? No. Therapy? Now, look, I am just a guy who used to have a crush on you trying to tell you that everything's going to be okay. I want to see the files I wrote for, Josh, and I don't want you twisting my strings. Why? Some Jane Doe that was found by the roadside in 1974? Now, what's she to you? How do you even know about her? Came through on an APB. When? Fifteen years ago. I just remembered that today is the first Saturday of the month. So? So, the Grange has its social tonight. At Sharon's old fruit storage barn. If you can do it two-step, I can show you a heck of a time. I don't dance. Well, you can eat. And Ms. Markell Sauerbraten is still the best in the county. You know why I shot that man? Your mama said it was self-defense. It was an execution. Link took me hunting once. Deer season? And he got a buck. But it wasn't a clean kill. You know, Linky couldn't finish it. And the buck kept gasping and thrashing. What happened? I slit its throat. Well, that had to be done. And so did the shooting. Then why do I still feel guilty? Well, Tate, you are being too hard on yourself. Now, suppose that rapist had killed your partner. Or shot you. I mean about the deer. Are you trying to shock me? I just want you to know what you're dealing with. I'm not a little country girl anymore, Josh. Fair warning. Evening at home. Josh is taking me to the social at the Grange. Well, that's right, neighborly. Where's Daddy? He's done stuck in the cold room. You still do that? There's nothing like cold peaches from that old stone chiller. Don't they ship the stock out in refrigerated trucks now? Mostly. But uh, some of the old timers. They still like to come up here on a Sunday and get a bag or two. What is it, child? Mama, Josh still tells that idiotic story about how I got stomped by Tallulah. Hush. Now shush your mouth. Don't never say anything like that in this house again. Mama, I can't live with lies anymore. Look at me, Mama. I can't make a life with all this anger inside. 
You're a Whateley woman, and you live with what you are, the same as all of us. Your gentleman is at the door. Kate? Josh, you two going out stepping? Yes, ma'am, with your permission. Since when does she need my permission? I'll get my purse. If Kate's up, I think I'll take her with me to our beer. Now, hey, Josh, what you doing here? You feeling sick? Josh is taking your sister to the Grange Social. Is that right? When you slide, dog. Doing what? Kate and I are going. Kitty, kitty. Boy, so pretty. So I get washed up for supper, and then you're going home to your wife. Well, we're off. Good night, all. Good night, Mama. Why don't you dare show temper to me? Uh, Ma, he's, he's just real tired out, that's all. Everybody felt scared and angry. Everything was like to be turned upside down. Everybody want to dance? I heard he was back in town. Hello, Tucker. How about going once around the floor, good looking? I don't think so. Your little lady friend here. She ain't too friendly now, is she? Well, we just came for some supper, Tucker. How about you? Don't look for trouble here, Tucker. You might find it. Oh, lordy, lordy me. <laughs> look at Tucker, why don't you... I get it. After your little supper here, you're gonna go on up to Broken Ridge? Like that old log fight? Look. 
Okay. Okay, Tucker. One dance and you go home and sleep it off. Come on. Yeah, but I do. <laughs> Come on, honey. Warm my bones. You're lucky you're drunk, Tucker. Yeah. Yeah, you and me, we used to have lots of little secret games we played. Remember? Heard you were married. Yeah, I guess. But you've always been my little wild woods girl. Quit it, Tucker, right now. Who's that? Hey, Lee, pull me out of the room. Keep your voice down now. Who are you bossing, girlie? You mind if I cut in? Now, we ain't had our dance yet. Yes, we have. Good night, Tucker. I say we ain't finished. I said good night. You and me finish. I'll play it with it's just like you said, nothing ever changes, Link Tucker. Now, Link's just here to get a beer. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay, where are you Josh, going? let me go. Hey, come on, wait a second. Oh, Kate, stop it. Pig. Look, up here, fathers and brothers think that unmarried girls should have chaperones, and any woman who isn't somebody's mother or wife is considered fair game. That's the way it is. You're not going to change that. You mean like you and your little love nest this morning? Did you really think I was going to go to bed with you to get an answer to my letter? No, I kind of hoped that you might enjoy it. For God's sakes, Josh, I saw you out behind the house with Becky this morning. Kate? I'm not only Becky's friend, I'm her doctor. You don't say. Josh. What do you want, Link? I think it's time I took Kitty home. Go back to your beer and your buddies and leave me alone. Sorry, Josh. Stop talking about me as if I were livestock. Go on, Kate. Don't make a scene. Take your hands off me. I'll go when I'm ready. Kitty, come on. You know Pa said... Pa said... Pa said... I don't give a damn what Pa said. Hey, Link. Stay out, Josh. This is Ken. Don't touch me! You're bleeding. I guess I lost the fight, huh? Josh, I'm sorry. I... You dumb, stupid animal. Stay away from him. All right, go on now, Kate. Go on home. Kitty, let's go home now. Let's go to hell with you first. No, that's enough, Kate. I said that's enough. Come on. I'll take you home. I'll brain link for hurting you. You know, nobody feels worse about all this than Link. He's not a violent man. He's so scared of Becky, she says, jump, he says, how high? It's just they're going through some hard times right now. You're a funny one to apologize for him. Or is that the code of the woods? that dead girl so important to you. Good night, Josh. The past has been a long time dying, Kate. Don't drag it out of the grave.
the part you want. Starting tomorrow, I'm stalking you. Honey, did you sleep all right? Didn't sleep at all. Mommy, yesterday when I went out, was anyone in my room? Not that I know of. Mama, someone was in my room. Someone went through my dresser. Who would want to do a thing like that? Where's Daddy? Oh, he's out loading fruit with Nick. Let it be, honey. Let well enough alone. It isn't well enough to be left alone. Sometimes when I hear you talk, I wonder who is this bitter woman who looks like my child. Mama, Link punched Josh. He knocked him down. Leave my husband alone. Daddy sent Link to protect you. Protect me from what? From having a good time? We all know your idea of having a good time. Half naked, chasing around the woods with boys. Kate, Kate, don't... Kate... Uh, uh, Snag them straight, you hear? Yeah, I can get them. All right, all right. Uh, Daddy, I want to talk to you. Sorry about last night, Kitty. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you now. Daddy, I'm going to stand here until you stop and listen to me. What do you want? I want you to leave me alone as long as I'm here. And I don't want you sending Link to trail me halfway around the county. As long as you're under my roof, you'll behave as I say. Pa, get on with it. Go on, do your work. I mean it. Leave me alone. Leave you alone to disgrace us? What the hell are you talking about? Dancing with one man? Outside, kissing the other? I was not. Out in the dark? Like a pair of dirty animals, coupling. Damn it, Daddy, it was nothing like that. I don't care what it was like. You're our daughter. We've got to take you in. But we don't have to let you drag our name in the dirt. And we won't. My God, we won't. Pa, let me warn you, Pa. Get on with it, I say. Talk, talk about what? Nothing. I'll come back later. What, it, what have you got there? Oh, nothing. Let me have it. Give it to me. No. No, no, no. Give it to me. No, 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 please. What the hell is this? Did you hear me what? <laughs> Becky, I want an answer. It's Link. It's a long time since, since he's been interested. And when he goes to Little Rock or Washington, I know there must be other women that, that he... Then he brought home that catalog and told me to order. But then I was afraid Mr. Gibbs, the postman, might, might know the return address, and I couldn't. Oh, Becky. Becky. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Link wants me to do Shh. things. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. I just thought... You've had a lot of men. And I thought... You know... Do women really do those things?
and good morning to you, too. Enough patter, Josh. I came to see those files. Look, I, uh... I'll get a court order. That's not necessary. Jane Doe. Died November 14th, 1974. This is wrong, Kate. What you're doing is wrong. The girl is dead. Now let it be. This isn't about the dead. All right, let me take you through this. No, Josh. I have a house call. How long will you be? A couple of hours. You're sure that you don't want me to help no. you? there. You ready for a break, Sherlock? Sure. Well, the Harper twins are playing ping pong with the grip. Say, you're looking kind of pale yourself. Ghastly, huh? Violent death is just as ugly here as it is in Chicago. You got that old window unstuck. Yeah, I thought the room could use an airing. Yeah, maybe it could. So, what'd you find? Not much. These are only the forensics, not investigators' reports. Caucasian female, early teens, beaten, raped, contusions, internal bleeding, massive hemorrhages, all of which say she died a slow and painful death. Elaborately bound and dumped by the roadside to die, not a shovel full of earth thrown over her. Anything else? Abrasions on the back and buttocks. Indicating? Use your imagination. Other than that dead end. I've never seen a homicide investigation like this. It's nothing but clerical work. She hitched in. Somebody killed her. Let's throw in the trash and forget it. Why? She was a hippie at blow in. Nobody gave a damn. Is that why there aren't any lab reports? There's no hematology, no serology, no spectrograph of the rope. Either the reports were never done, or... Or what? Or someone who knows forensic medicine went through the files and destroyed them. Search me. I want to get these things analyzed. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. You're going to investigate a crime that happened 15 years ago without any witnesses? Is there a lab here in this building? Come on. The closest is the police at Grafton. Okay. That's 150 miles away. All right. I'll call the Smokies, see what I can do. You're very cool about all this, aren't you? What does that 
you're supposed to be. Look at Kate. Maybe I am a yokel from a small town, but I've been practicing here for 12 years. I know who beats his wife, who uh, abuses with his daughter. I know who drinks before breakfast, who has contact with animals. Everything that you've seen up there in the streets of Chicago, I've seen here. Behind the lace curtains and the hymn books. I know I hate when I see it in the face. Whenever you're ready. Rope and grain sack are important to you. They are. Okay, come on. Mind telling me what you hope to find out? Yes. Okay, have it your own way. Be mysterious. Right in here. Watch your step there. You sure they know we're coming? This isn't a precinct, this is Disneyland. Uh, Dr. Captain Clark, how do you do? Who might this be? Captain, this is Catherine Ann Wakely. Here's mine. Thanks. State said you wanted to run some blood in microscopy. ID yourself and sign in. We'll walk down to the lab. Hope you're going to sit in on the testing, Missy. I plan to. And they need some ID from you. Driver's license, if you got one. <sighs> Didn't realize this was an official request from the Chicago PD. Detective. It isn't. You folks just follow me. Doc, these are the folks from Devlin State called about. Yes, yes, you had something for us to analyze. So there's a grain sack and this rope that. What? What is it? Sally Ann Riley died July 11th, 1988. She's been a serial killer for 15 years. Looks that way. Can you trace the sacks? You know how many sacks of seed come into this county every spring? Too many. Some way to die. How about her clothes? Naked, never found her clothes. Got the forensic reports? How can that happen? Two cases like this, 150 miles apart, and nobody ever put the two together? That's the tough part about serial killers. Each police department only has their own crime, so they don't see your pattern. I thought you had information exchanges. There are now. Your murder happened a long time ago. What is it, Kate? Nothing. Captain, what kind of knot is this? Well, it's what... What some old timers used years ago to tie calves when they gilded them. For this, this noose thing. Captain, could I have some twine? I'd like to try to tie this thing. What's going on? I want to try to tie that hobble. No, that's not what I'm asking. Josh, what time is it? About midnight. 
Oh, and then some. Sorry. Well, this has been harder on you than me. I'm watching you trying to tie that knot was actually pretty funny. How long will it take us to drive back? Well, we'll stay down here tonight. When I went to get the burgers, I checked us in at the motel out by the highway. Adjoining rooms. Okay. You know, you didn't eat your burger. I can't eat thinking of those four strand girls. The term is asphyxiated. They died of asphyxiation. Not the second one. She died of hypothermia. Well, it gets cold up here. Winter is no time to be up in the Cato Mountains without your clothes. She was murdered in July. Let me see that report. Damn. Cause of death, hypothermia, prolonged exposure to cold. Now that is weird. What is? Well, look. Look here. See that slip knot around the neck? Now, when a person is trussed up like this, the muscles in their legs and their arms begin to stiffen. It's involuntary, they can't help it. And then after an hour, maybe two, the muscles cramp, that noose tightens, and they strangle themselves. Maybe it was chilly that night. But that's just what doesn't add up. If it's chilly, the, the muscles cramp faster. A cool night would speed the strangulation process, but she didn't strangle. She froze to death. And there is no way that that could happen in July. Unless you... Unless what? Like I said, it's weird. Want to talk? Sure. Talk about what? Things. What sort of things? Things that go bump in the night. You're not trying to seduce me, are you? Maybe. No, you're not. Kate, what kind of game are you playing? The same game you're playing. Oh? And what game is that? You know damn well how the Riley girl froze to death in July. Do I? Yes. Well, maybe it's time for both of us to start telling the truth. You came down here to find a killer. Why? Kane, were those two girls his only victims? How would I know? 
It's only one way I can think of. You know? I think I would like to make love to you. Don't be ridiculous. Well, why not? Why not? No. Why not? No. Is there someone else? No, I just can't. Why not? Why can't you? Why? Why not? Why can't you? to sex when I was 15. Someone dropped a grain sack over my head. I thought it was a game. When I tried to get away, he tore my clothes, he beat me, and he raped me. Then he tied me up and left me to die in the same place that Riley girl froze to death. My father's coat room. The story about being thrown by the horse? Mama made it up. Because if anybody found out, anybody in that malicious little pigsty of a town, no decent boy would ever touch me. My father wouldn't let me date. He drove away every boy who wanted to take me to a movie. Until I felt like I was trash. Like I wasn't clean. Like I was some... dirt farmer's dirty joke. And what brought you back? Revenge? I'm gonna find the man that raped me and murdered those girls. And then what? I'm going to kill him. Now, get out of here and let me get some rest. No, not just yet. Josh, let me alone. Yes, I think that would suit you. You're damn right it would. You know, for the first time, I'm beginning to understand you, Kate. It's easier to carry a gun and have a chip on your shoulder than it is... Josh, don't feed me platitudes. You haven't been through those endless nights when making love was the hardest work I knew. Well, is it time you put an end to that? Yes, and I'm going to. No, not that. Kate, don't you realize that the man who attacked you is sick? Josh, get out. I'm going to bed. And even if you could find him, killing him isn't going to solve anything. What is it with you? Why do you keep getting in my way? Who is it that you're trying to protect? You. It's not your body that can't make love, it's your mind. It's this, this nursery rhyme that keeps repeating in your brain. Bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. You, you're, you're trying to catch a rapist, but don't you see? You think that you're the one that should be punished.
Your eyes are red. You're no beauty either. It's hard to shave without a razor. What'll it be, miss? Two gallons of coffee and an ice pack. <laughs> Just a large coffee to go. Sure. There's something to this, isn't it? To us. Maybe. Josh, I have to go back to the police station. Okay. And this time I have to go alone. I see. Even if you don't see. Trust me a little. You trust me? Davies, Tucker Edwin, RFD 27, Devlin Township. That your man? That is rap sheet. Oh, listen, Missy. Detective Wakely. I'll help you, but you know the rules. If you have a question or two. Okay, he's a drinker. DWI in 1980 lost his driver's license for a year. Tough on a farmer when that happens. Anything else? Felony arrests? Nope. Just kid stuff. What else? Nothing. Sorry I took up your time. Nothing else you want to ask about? Do you have family in Devlin? Domestic violence? Well, now that you mention it, it was a complaint of that nature filed by Mrs. Tess Davies. Investigating officer reported that the woman had a broken nose. She also exhibited cigarette burns on both arms, etc., etc. How was the case disposed? Oh, the usual. Reconciliation. She dropped the charges. Look, detective. You got any ideas about this? Be careful. I put a description of that rope on the wire last night. Captain Lynch from Murfreesboro called me this morning. He's got a rope like that. From a girl who was murdered six weeks ago. That didn't take long. Well? Josh, don't ask me. Why not? Because I can't tell you. What, you have to do all of it alone? It could be dangerous, and I'm trained, and you're not. Do you know who killed those girls? Josh, let me go. What are you going to do, Kate? Nothing. Josh, let me go. You're hurting me. Was it Tucker? Why do you ask? Because I treat his wife. Does he still beat her? You know I can't answer that. Kate. Now wait, Kate. I'm talking to you. I asked you a question. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk to him. I'm going with you. No. Now, damn it. I don't even want to argue about this. If you are going to see him, I am going with you. All right, all right. After dinner, pick me up. We'll go together. Now, you're talking sense. Good, Mama. You have got your nerves staying out all night like some alley cat in the dragon home after noon. Mama, it isn't what you think. Josh and I went to Grafton to the police hall of records, and we found something. You found an alley to sleep in? Mama, the man who raped me. Shut your the mouth. The man who raped me killed at least three other girls. Daddy, I still think we should call 
Josh to look at Mama. You with him last night? Yes. Don't you ever bring him into this house again. Daddy. Must you go on till you destroy us? If you have to talk, come down to the kitchen. chicken sandwich. Link said Tucker has the O'Harrigan farm on uh, Sugar Hill Road, isn't it? Don't matter where it is. He's married, I told you. Father, bless this house. For those gathered in thy name. Teach us to be thy children, to honor thee, to turn from sin. Teach us to love one another as you do us, and give us peace. Amen. Daddy, ever see a knot like this? I just got some kind of chill, honey. Mama, I better call Josh. No, no, no. It'll, uh, don't do that. It'll be all right. Daddy might just take out after him. Would you just get me that old quilt from Link's old room? Well, I'm worried about you. It'll pass. Just bring you the quilt. Mm -hmm.
But you done it all backwards. Tied it with the wrong hand. The hitches should, should come around to the other side. Lincoln Waitley, Devlin's Southpaw Sensation. If you're up early, why don't you come down and have a cup of coffee tomorrow morning? Night, Pa. Night. Night, Kitty. Justin, you go in the parlor and watch TV. You keep that quiet, you hear? Well, I'll go see to the stock. Well, you want anything before I uh, go no, away? No, no thanks. Becky, about yesterday, though. Oh, that was nothing, then. Just never in life. You don't like me, do you? You should move on. Have I done something to hurt you? No. Then what is it? I don't like you around me and mine. Justin? Link. And Justin. I don't want you talking a lot of nonsense to him. Don't you put ideas in his head. Becky. And all that about yesterday, that was just... Never you mind. I don't need any help from you. Not now or ever. I'm going upstairs to see Mama. Please. Leave my family alone. Ma doing? The same. Getting ready for your trip? I'm uh, trying to. Gonna be gone long? Mm. Five days, maybe a week. Link, I went to the police station in Grafton yesterday. You did? Why is that? I wanted to find out about that girl. Which girl is that? That girl that was murdered back in 74. 74? That's... That's a long time ago, Kitty. Long time. 
There was another girl murdered in Bluesville in 1987. Is that right? And one in Murfreesboro six weeks ago. All killed by the same man. Persistent, ain't he? I think I know who killed those girls, Link. Well, maybe that's a good thing to know. Maybe not. Kitty. Where do you suppose Becky hid my black socks? I can't find them anywhere. It's no good, Link. I know. You know what I think, Kitty? I think I want to have a drink. How about you? You want one? Oh. You really do have a burr in your britches. You always wear such a pretty little thing. I'm sure you don't want one. Helps cut the wind out there. Here's to you. Link, I know you killed those girls. I know you raped me. What? No, you don't know anything. I know the man that tied us up was left-handed. You picked him up at the Grange, walked him back up off the highway. Then you took him to the cold room, but you didn't have the guts to finish it. Just like that poor buck. So you tied him up and left him to strangle. I think those girls' clothes are buried in the cold room or near it. Tomorrow I'm going to find them, Link. You know what I think, Kitty? I think you actually believe all this. raped me and left me to die, you rotten. What are you looking for? This? Hey, you know, you shouldn't leave a gun lying around where just anyone might pick it up. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? You're just like Ma. All of you. Women. You figure you know everything. <laughs> figure you get everything your own way. <laughs> you know, you didn't look so smart. Dressed up like a pig on the cold room floor. Don't look so smart now.
know you're in here, Kitty. Mama. Hard to tell. You leaving? Yes. Look, it's over, Kate. You don't it's have... It's over, but it's not finished. Wait for me. Mary Josh because you knew he would make a play for me and and that might distract me. You sent Becky to wait in my room, so I think she went through my notes. Last night. You warned Link I was coming for him. I knew 
the day that Daddy carried you up from the cold room. He didn't. I did. And then, when Link married Becky, I made Daddy give him the homestead so that I could keep him close. And everything was all right. For a time. He murdered three girls. He was my only son. What about those girls? Mama, what about their lives, their parents? Me. I thought you came back for revenge. I didn't realize you only wanted to be loved. You know that there is nothing in the world that the two of us couldn't face together. What's wrong? I waited a long time for that, but I think I wanted it to be love and not uh, gratitude. So look. I want to see you. Maybe. Maybe in the fall. No promises. You think a country doctor could make it in the big city? Oh, yeah. You'd be a blow-in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how will I find you? Just call a cop. Matlock's in the movies. It's a spine-chilling horror film with a real murder that only Matlock can solve. Then Gillespie and Tibbs investigate a fatal beauty whose death may not have been accidental in the heat of the night. Then Jack Killian must stop an obsessive maniac intent on killing a pretty lady. And the object of his obsession is Devon on an all-new Midnight Caller Tuesday. And in just three days, you'll see the season premiere of L.A. Law.